Hello everyone! Today I want to challenge you guys to paint along with me to create this piece. This is so suitable for any of you beginners out there. I've done this piece in different ways using different paints so many times and it's just one of those pieces that I always go back to because I find it so therapeutic and it always turns out quite good. If you do try this out, you are probably going to want to show it off so please don't shy away from sending it to our DMs because I would love to see. So we are going to do a very easy nighttime scene together and all we're going to need are just three colours. We're going to use acrylic paint for this, so I've got blue, black and white here and honestly you don't have to have the exact same blue that I'm using. This will work with literally any kinds of blue and once you see how it's done I think you'll realise that you can use pretty much any kinds of nighttime colours, whether it's reds and purples, anything that you're feeling, you can literally make it your own. But I'm just going to keep it very simple for this one, so these are the colours that I'm going to be using. So for my brushes, I don't think you need to be too fussy with the kind of brushes you have for this piece. I would just say have one rough brush, but if you don't have a rough brush, you can actually use something like this. And you'll see what we'll be using this for so that you can look for an alternative if you don't have either of these. This is actually a makeup brush of mine that I've never used before and I found it and I thought it would be perfect to use for this piece so I'm going to be using that as my main brush. If you have a fan brush and any other kind of brushes that are small in size they might come in handy for some parts of this painting so just have them by your side. Since this is going to be a nighttime scene, I will definitely be having some stars in this piece and for this I'm going to use a toothbrush because I love the way that the bristles work for this and you'll see how we'll be doing that. I also have these painting knives. Now if you don't have a painting knife that's completely fine. I was using a ruler for a very long time when I first started off painting and it literally does the same job. No excuses for not doing this guys. So let's get started. Yes! I didn't like the size of this canvas so here I'm just using masking tape around the edges to have a smaller portion of the canvas to paint on and the masking tape will also keep the edges nice and neat and when we peel it off at the end it will create a nice frame. I'm going to start off by drawing a moon shape on this masking tape and once I stick it onto the chosen space on the canvas it will keep that area white so I won't have to paint a moon over all of the strong colours later on and all I'll have to do is just peel this off and it will create a nice white space. I'm mixing white and blue here just to make a light blue colour and I'm just going to use this to draw a line across my canvas to make my horizon line clear. So as you can see the perfectionist in me kicked in and I had to use a ruler but you really don't have to. I want to make the highest part of my sky the darkest colour and I want to get lighter as I get into the middle of the canvas where the moon is placed. And I want to do the same thing on the bottom half of the canvas because this is the reflection of the sky. that colours are completely a personal thing so just mix these colours however you like and just work on it until you get the colour that you want. I'm just trying to re-establish my horizon line here. I'm quite happy with what's on this canvas and I'm just going to start adding some stars now. With this you want to get the paint to a thin consistency so that when you flick the bristles 
you get small little dots. Using a toothbrush, I'm just going to show you how to create these little dots on the canvas to make stars. Make sure you try this out on a piece of paper or something before you start flicking it onto the canvas. Now this is very easy to overdo and I do feel like I overdid it a bit here. But just remember that with things like this, usually less is more. So I'm just going to use a fair amount of white on my brush and I'm just going to draw a line right below the moon for the reflection of the moon. I'm just going to draw a line and I'm going to spread that all the way down. going to use my small brush to just pull that paint outwards and blend it out. And now I've just switched to my fan brush and as you can see I'm not holding the brush firmly at all. I'm holding it very lightly and I'm just doing light strokes left, right, left, right, blurring that white out. Once you're happy with the way that you've blended that white out, you can then go ahead and use your painting knife or your ruler, whatever you're going to use to create those white lines on the water and this is just going to create that shimmery look. I'm using my smallest painting knife here because I just want to focus right below that moon because this is where the reflection will be most strongest and I feel like I get a good control with this small painting knife so I'm just using that to create these lines. Now I'm using my bigger painting knife because I feel like I can do larger sections much quicker and I'm just spreading that out. For those of you who don't have painting knives, I just want to show you how you can do this with a ruler. It's the exact same way and you'll get the exact same results. So as you can see, it just works just as good. I'm just going to go back in with my fan brush and I'm going to use some of that darker colour again and I'm just going to paint some of the areas that I just felt like I wanted it to be a little bit more darker. I'm using black on my fan brush here and I'm doing strokes to do these grasses at the bottom here. I'm using my big rough brush here and I'm just tapping into that black and as you can see all I'm doing is pressing onto the paper here to create these silhouettes of these leaves and it's super easy with a brush like this. I just want to show you guys how this works with this sponge. I don't know what this sponge is called, but it's just a very nice textured sponge and it works the same way that the brush does. You just have to tap it on and it's just an alternative. So now that my sky has completely dried, I'm just going to take the masking tape off of the moon. And as you can see, that just made my life so much more easier. I'm just going to paint around the edges of this moon to make it more neat. 
and I'm just using white for this. I'm just going to go around it and make it that perfect moon shape. I felt like something was missing so here I just painted two birds in the sky but you can't see it very clearly because of my flash so I'm just going to show you how I did that on a separate piece of paper. So make sure you use your thinnest brush and make sure you thin down your paint quite a lot so you want it to be more on the watery side. Finally, once everything has dried, it's time to take the masking tape off around the edges of the canvas and this is super fun so just enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed this this is actually my first tutorial so i hope that i made this as easy as possible for you guys to follow and if you do give this a try please 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 do send it to us i would love to see what you guys have done